For this demonstration, let's look at a couple of ArcGIS apps and integrations in support of qualifying and building out new customer connections. As a direct sales representative or a pre-sales engineer, I have access to a mobile point of sale tool to help me qualify business services. This application ties into our billing system and shows me all of my business prospects here on the map. The application also leverages key physical and logical network information, which allows me to run service feasibility analysis to generate cost estimates for serving all of these businesses. Our cost to extend service to this customer is just under $4,000. And that is based on design rules and spatial analysis models that the engineering team has shared through this application. And since this app is completely integrated into our geospatial system, I can easily save this quote into our billing system while also storing the generated fiber route in the GIS. Saving this fiber route now allows an engineer to see the exact network path that was used to help generate this cost quote. Now let's move into creating this customer connection as a fiber engineer. In this desktop app, I'm able to see and track all of the cost quotes for business services. I also have access to the engineering and GIS tools to allow me to design against our as-built network to ensure that we can deliver the level of service that we have offered. I'll start creating our customer connection by loading this network access point into our fiber connection manager to view all of the cables and strands available to connect our customer drop to. Here we can see all of those available ports within this connection hub. So now let's digitize in and edit the network structures that will support our fiber drop. We'll start by adding a pole with a riser to transition from the underground to aerial network. Now we'll add a span network between the poles. And each time I click on the map, another pole will get added along the way. Then we'll add in a direct berry trench between this handhole and that first pole with riser. And now that we have our structures in place, we'll add in an NIU at the customer premise. Next, we'll digitize in our drop cable, and this will be a one strand drop. Once we have completed these edits, we'll open back up our fiber connection manager and we'll select the new customer drop, and we will then auto connect the fiber strand to an available port within this hub location. Now, to check that our customer connection is a valid network connection, I'll select the connection port in the network interface unit and we'll run an upstream network trace. And from our trace results, we're able to see the network path all the way back to the distribution hub. And with these trace results, we can also generate network diagrams and schematics, like a single line diagram. Here is that schematic view of those trace results where we can see the equipment and structures being used to help support this new customer connection. ArcGIS, as a comprehensive geospatial system for next-gen network management, supports network design and management workflows through ArcGIS apps and tools. These apps and tools can be configured out of the box or integrated with existing systems and extended using ArcGIS APIs and SDKs. 
With ArcGIS apps, you can bring immediate business value to the whole organization by leveraging the investment made in next-gen network management.